Hello everyone. In this video, we will see that through the academic excellence tool, how a class wise report can come up at what our information we can get through that. So now on the screen, you can see like we have the reports and we have a class wise reports. Yeah. Now this class wise report can be further bifurcated into overall performance analysis, chapter and topic wise understanding analysis and the subject performance report. So first of all, we'll start with the overall performance analysis that how a class report on the basis of the overall performance analysis can be pulled out and what benefits do we get from that? So first of all, here on the right hand side, you can see there's a section of percentage range where you can go ahead and define the parameters that on the basis of poor, average and strong. What is that respective number that you would like to measure your class performance that it has been categorized as a poor performance average or a strong performance? Now coming to this overall performance analysis through this one again on the top, you can see the filters. Now here the filters is as per the class wise as you can see 10 standard and the respective section. Either it could be a particular or all the sections and after that you can click on show of the show result. Now here in the bottom you can see there's a particular graph that come up as a performance grouping where you can see the performance of the entire class in the terms of poor average and the strong performance and the number of the students under that thing. Similarly, on the right hand side, you can see the further bifurcation that OK, how does the class has been performing? How many stands in the strong category? How many are in average and how many are in the poor category? So this really really give you an idea that a particular class is going which way? What are the things to be improved and what are the strong points? Similarly, once you'll move more move down here on the particular screen, you will find the list of the performers here. Now here you can see there are total eight performers, total eight average performers and the strong performers. And once you click on the list, you can see the respective name of the students here. Now coming to the scroll down one, you can see the respective graph where the entire class performance is being shown graphically. Now here on the X axis, you can see the different name of the students and the respective percentage here. And what is their overall trend in the terms of performance? And here on the top, you can see the overall mean score of a class that OK in a pertaining to a particular exam or test. What has been the average marks? Now in this case, as you can see, it's 71.04%. Now this graph gives an idea of the complete class one. Now, once you'll move down, you will get a further categorization that who are the top performers of the class. Now, those top performers, those could be the top five performers. You can pull out the top 10 performers, top 15 performers. Even you can customize and pull out top 20, top 25, top three, either the way you want to have it. Now, here you can see like top of top 10 performance list has been given where you can see the name of the students, their respective role number, their overall score which they have got it, and then the further subject wide bifurcation of those particular scores. Now here you can see the subjects like Hindi, English, Mathematics, Science and Social Science. Similarly here once you'll come down, after the top performers, now the table will present about the bottom performers that who are the people, who are the students for which we have to work more hard to make their performance better one. Here as well, you can pull out the top five bottom performers, 10 or 15 one, or you can customize and pull out any number of the bottom performers here. Here as well, you can see the information in terms of student name, their respective role number, their overall score, and of course their respective subjects marks which are being reflected out here. Now after that thing, the next interesting thing is about the improvers. How many students have shown an improvement into their performance? So this table will give that particular information. So here as well, you can see the bifurcation is as per the subject wise, the name of the student. What was the score was there in the previous exam? What has been scored in the current exam and here at the extreme and the percentage of change and improved. So this really gives a very good idea that how the class is going, who are the students who are showing improvement and how much is the improvement. And on the same part here, you can see here about the top decliners, the students who performance has gone down here for which now uh, uh, the school and the teacher has to pay attention on those students. So this will show that particular list. And here as well, you can see the bifurcation as for the subject wise, as for the student name, then the score in the previous exam, in the recent exam, and the percentage that has been declined. So with the help of these particular reports as a whole class wise, we can get an idea that how the class is performing, what are the good and the positive moves of the class, what are the negative moves where we need to work upon, and then 
further continue with the things. Coming to the towards the next parameter, which is about the chapter and the topic wise understanding level, understanding analysis of the class. Now through this particular reporting part, a whole class as per the list of the chapters, what are being there, we can understand the their understanding level. Now here you can see the chapter name in the very first column and in the second column you can see the student distribution and here you can see two different colors. One is it like a light blue one. Another one is a dark blue one. Now the light blue shows about the below accepted and the dark blue means above accepted. That means the students who have not able to grasp that particular chapter will come under the below accepted one and the ones who got that concept who understood everything they will be shown under this dark color one. Now here you can see the chapter name, the student distribution. Now similarly, uh, you want to know the further bifurcation here. So on the right hand side, you can have this option of student detail. As soon as you will click on there, you can get the further bifurcation of the students. Now here you can see the students who have not able to grasp that particular chapter. Now this is the name of the students. This is the respective role number and the overall score on which particular we got an idea that they are not able to get that particular concept here. Similarly here above accepted one. Now here as well you can see the name of the students and the overall scores on which particular basis we got an idea that they are able to get the concept of that particular thing. And this whole result you can print out or take a soft copy very easily for the future references here. Now moving towards the third parameter of the class reports on the subject performance report part. So this is the third parameter. Now here you will see the different different subjects in the table here. As you can see Hindi, English, Mathematics, Science, Social Science, and then the further bifurcation of the class on the basis of strong, average and poor. How many students have into the strong category, average and the poor category subject wise whole information can be seen out here very easily. Similarly, on the right hand side, the same information has been presented in a very proper comparative way in a graphical form. Now here you can see the subjects wise Hindi, English, Math, Social Science, and you can see the three bars like the very first one is a strong bar, which is like a blue color, which is a strong one. The middle one green one is an average one and the light blue one represents the poor one that as per these subjects, these are the number of students in the class who are into this particular category that is being here. So like this, you can get the complete idea as a class wise reporting that how the class is performing on the different parameters on the subject wise on the basis of the strong average and poor and what are the uh, students who have shown an improvement who are the decliners one overall what is the progress of the class and accordingly the actions can be taken further on that thing. Thank you so much. Have a good day.